सो दिस इज होरम एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ऑप्टोमेट्री विथ होरम एंड टूडे आर टॉपिक इज मैनुअल लेंजोमीटर एंड दिस वीडियो इज टोटली प्रैक्टिकल बेस्ड रिगार्डिंग ऑल द सेटिंग्स ऑफ द मैनुअल लेंजोमीटर सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो दिस इज एंटीक टाइप ऑफ टॉप ऑन मैनुअल लेंजोमीटर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज आई पीस एंड this one is lens holder to hold the blank on the spectacles and this is for access marking you can mark your access with these markers and this is to adjust the optical center of the spectacles or blank and this is our power dial the red color is for negative lenses minus and these are for plus lenses and this is to adjust the height of the lensometer and you can move you can adjust the height of the lensometer and let's have a look inside this is graticule and you can clear the graticule with the eyepiece first of all you have to clear the graticule inside by rotating the eyepiece and your power dial should be at zero before starting the lensometry so it's at zero so we have different types of lenses with unknown powers so let's take one lens we don't know this is spherical or cylinder or sphero cylinder so we will adjust our blank with unknown power in the lensometer so we will start so as you can see this illuminated bar we have to clear by rotating the power dial so here you can see this is this meridian is clear and the meridian is clear at zero as you can see it's totally clear properly sharp in focus at zero so our one meridian is clearly focused at zero and now we will rotate the power dial if i can focus yes so now we will clear our other meridian the fellow meridian and as you can see if i am rotating the power dial the other meridian is getting clear it's totally clear as you can see and let's check the power dial and it's clear at minus 1 minus 2.25 or minus 2 you can see yes minus 2 so one meridian is at 0 and other meridian is at minus 2 so if we move from 0 to minus 2 it will be a cylinder right so it's 0 we are moving from 0 to minus 2 so sign will be minus and the power will be cylinder so yes we have confirmed we have minus cylinder now another lens of unknown power let's put this lens and have a look inside and here we go we don't have any meridian and it's just a spherical lens and the spherical lens is clear at 1.75 plus because all the dots are clear and let's confirm Yes, the power is spherical plus one point seven five. Yes, it's one point seven five. Now the third lens. We will clear our first meridian. Yes, and it's getting clear at almost plus one point five. 
so we'll make optical cross and first meridian is plus 1.5 and now we will clear another meridian because we have two meridians so length is cylinder or sapphire cylinder so let's rotate the dial to clear the other meridian or fellow meridian and it's clear at plus 0 0.75 more or less so let's see yes it's clear at plus 1 plus 0 0.75 so this is we can take this as the spherical other meridian is clear at plus 0 0.75 and to have the cylinder we will move plus 1.5 to 0 0.75 and the difference between these two will be cylinder so plus 1.5 is sapphire and 0 0.75 will be cylinder what about the sign it would be minus because we are moving from greater plus to lower plus we are actually moving towards the minus direction right so Final prescription would be plus 1.5 with minus 0 0.75 cylinder. And let's confirm. Yes, it's plus 1.5 sapphire with minus 0 0.75 cylinder. And now we will learn that how we can mark the axis on the lens. Let's put the axis again. So first of all the lens is there and I have to maintain our desired axis. This is axis dial. So my desired axis, let's see if I am going to take 135 axis. So I have to clear first meridian. So it is clear at plus 1. Now let's clear another meridian. And the fellow meridian is clear at Yes, this is in sharp focus. If I can adjust well, if I can capture it properly. So it's clear at almost 1.75. And now I will rotate the lens to mark my desired axis and as you can see I have to align the illuminated bar and the longest line which is at 135 axis. So I am rotating the lens. And I have to align both of these and yes it's almost there now as you can see the biggest line the longest line and the illuminated bar are at the same place yes so I will mark the axis but unfortunately markers are not working so I have to put the axis manually with my permanent marker And yes so the middle dot is optical center and this is we can check on digital lensometer